Hello and welcome to FEM Expert. Into this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import IGES files in ANSYS APDR, or at least how to try to import IGES files in ANSYS APDL. Well, we're going to start here with the uh, ANSYS Workbench with the Geometry module. I'm going to show you this component. It's a very simple imported IGES file. Here we have, as you can see, we have volumes, we have surfaces, we have lines, and we have points, key points. So the model is completed, it has, uh, has everything. And before we talk about the IGES files, we're gonna show you, we're gonna, we're gonna show you here the, what are they, and we're gonna talk a little bit about them. So the IGES files are initial graphic action specification uh, files. They're a vendor neutral file format that was developed in the early 70s. And the, the idea of it was to uh, enable and they allow to share information between computer at design programs. It was quite good, uh, but in the modern time it started to kind of become obsolete. And it presents a lot of uh, issues with uh, programs, especially with programs like ANSYS and other older programs. So we're going to show you here. So this is the file that we have. We're going to go into the APDL module. Here we have the, the program. And what we're going to do is go to File, Import, IGES. Initially, we're going to not select any of these options. We're not, we're not going to merge coincident key points. We're not going to create the solid if, it's, if, it, if available. And we're, not, and we're not going to delete small areas. We're going to hit OK. Uh, this warning parameter, it's by default, it happens in multiple versions of ANSYS. We don't have any idea uh, since this is my, uh, dash Z1, it's an internal value and you cannot find information about it. So we're going to do the, we're going to leave it by default and we're going to call this structure.igs, which is the file that we want to import. We're going to hit OK. And as you can see, the import glows pretty flawless model looks pretty good but as you might see if you look for areas or volumes there are none areas and none volume so this would be a line model that could be used for specific reasons but not too good to work with if you have an area or a shell or a 3d model so we're going to resume the model again we're going to go we're going to import and we're going to use other options like the merging and the solid to create the solid. We're going to use the IGES default tolerance for merging. We're going to hit OK. And now, although we're asking for the, the solid to be created, and this is going to tell us every time that because the key point merging has not been performed, the automatic volume creation is suppressed. And again, the resulting geometry is not much of use. We're going to resume again. We're going to go we're going to import IGES files. We're going to hit OK. And we're going to increase the tolerance for merging in order to have, a, uh, to have a, a, an increased chance of having merging points. And again, there's nothing that's happening. There's only importing, the program is importing only lines. So it's quite useless for the purpose of utilizing 3D models. Uh, if under, in, under a very specific necessity, you might, you might be able to recreate the 3D, the volume element uh, from these lines, using the, these lines as guidelines, but that would be extremely, taking extremely, extremely high effort and uh, an extremely long time. So that might not be, by far the, the best option. We're going to try another option. Uh, we're going to go here to ANSYS Workbench. We're going to delete this geometry and we're going to create a primitive a box which is going to be generated. And we're going to save this box. We're going to export it as an IGES file and we're going to call it cube. So it's the most, it's an extremely simple geometry for which ANSYS APDL should not have any issues importing um, because you might think some of the issues that come from this importing stuff are due to the more complex geometries with rounded edges and stuff like that. So we're going to try to import it. We're going to try it with 0 0.1 tolerance and we're going to do the cube. I'm going to hit OK. And once again, we have the lines, but there are no areas or volumes. 
Therefore, as you can see, uh, utilizing the IGES files in ANSYS APDL is not the best option. If you want to import the IGS, if you have an IGS file that you want to bring to ANSYS, uh, the best option that you have is saving it in a 3D program as Parasolid or some of these other formats, Pro Engineering UG or SAT or even CATIA, if you have the licenses and the modules for licensing according to your necessities. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please consider subscribing to our channel if you liked it and liking our videos to promote uh, this, this uh, information.